There are very few recipes that I will eat as a leftover and this is one of them. Today we are making chicken lasagna. I hope that you guys enjoy this recipe. Let's get into it. Let's begin by making our red sauce. In the pan we're going to add some olive oil. After we add our olive oil we're going to go ahead and saute our vegetables. I will leave the ingredients down below for this recipe so that you can follow along. We're going to saute the vegetables until they're translucent. Once they get to a point where I can smell the aroma of the garlic and the onions in the air, we're going to go ahead and add our ground chicken. Now you don't have to use ground chicken, you can go ahead and use leftover chicken if you have it and just shred the meat off the bone. You could also buy a rotisserie chicken from the grocery store and do that as well. But as for me and my house this is what we like <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and break that up into smaller pieces until we get nice small crumbles once we get these crumbles going then we're gonna go ahead and add our red sauce I love the brand Rao and I also love Mazetta because it tastes completely good straight out of the jar once I add my red sauce to the pan I also go ahead and add some water to it and then I cover it with my lid and I actually place this Dutch oven into the oven on 350 for 30 minutes because it makes the meat a lot more tender and it just adds a lot more flavor and depth to the sauce for our white sauce i'm going to add some butter to the scale and add equal parts flour to it and just whisk it together we're looking to make a blonde roux what you're looking for is the flour to cook but then also you'll either smell a light nutty scent or you'll smell popcorn we're going to use some cold heavy cream to whisk it together until you get a nice homogenous smooth mixture Once that is where we would like it to be we're going to go ahead and add our cheeses as well as some salt and pepper now i use oven ready lasagna sheets because i cannot stand and boiling lasagna <laughs> bro i hate having to pull the pieces apart having to find a pot that's big enough to even boil like nobody has time for all that just go ahead and get you some oven ready sheets and like i said layer so we're gonna just add some sauce lasagna sheets red sauce white sauce fresh buffalo mozzarella and we're just gonna continue to do the same thing for each and every layer we're just gonna top it off with some more of that white sauce fresh mozzarella and some parmesan cheese place that in the oven on 350 for about 30 minutes to an hour it just depends on how long it takes your oven to cook these sheets how you'll know if your lasagna is ready is i would just poke a knife into the center and if it comes out with ease then you know that your sheets are cooked if it has a little give to it you might want to wait a little longer i went ahead and added some Monterey Jack cheese, some more shredded mozzarella, and some Parmesan cheese on top, and place that back into the oven for another five to 10 minutes. Once our cheese is melted, we now have our delicious lasagna. Promise you, chef's kiss. Thank you all for watching. I really enjoy making these videos. If you have any ideas or recipes you would like for me to recreate for you, let me know down below. Thank you all for watching, and be sure to follow me on Instagram at I am Ashley Morgan, as well as subscribe to my channel. Bye.